Hi, Shannon. So I want to ask you some questions about how your plant-based journey um, has been influenced by UC Veg and a little bit about um, just you and your background, what brought you to come to the organization and start making lifestyle changes. So maybe just start with telling us uh, where were you at before all this started happening and what inspired you to, to come to a program? Well, um, I come from a line of really good cooks and they always cooked with lots of butter and sugar and eggs and lots of meat and all that kind of thing and it caused a lot of health problems and weight problems in our family so I've always tried to eat a little bit healthier than that and um, my daughter-in-law called me up one day she said would you like to go to a healthy uh, recipe class and I said, of course, I think that would be great. Mm -hmm. So we went together and it turns out it was the 12-week course, <laughs> right. which was a surprise because she thought maybe it was a one-night thing. Yeah. I don't know. And during the course, I lost 20 pounds. I lost 40 points on my cholesterol. Just, I got more energy. I just felt so much better. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that has made a huge difference for me is uh, the lack of arthritis now. Yeah. I had arthritis and it was just getting worse and worse by the year, almost by the month. And all of a sudden, my hands didn't hurt like they did. My, I could get up, I could move, I could work hard again. How has that impacted beyond just yourself into your family and into further out into the community? Well, um, I started cooking this way and even though my family didn't really want me to, I just did it. And if they want to eat meat, then they have to cook their own. So that's a good deterrent. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a good deterrent. So they've eaten, they eat a lot of my food now and they love a lot of it. So one thing that's really impacted my husband's life is he has uh, uh, lowered kidney function and it was getting low enough, like down in the low 30s. It was getting pretty concerning. And nothing seemed to help, except that when we started eating this way, um, he kept going back to the doctor and getting his blood tests, and the function just kept going up and up and up, and now he's up in the mid-50s. Wow. And the doctor doesn't know why, and my husband doesn't know why, but I think <laughs> I do. So anyway, so we just keep doing what we're doing and hoping it keeps getting better. Yeah. And... Um, there's been a lot of cancer in my family. My mom died of cancer, my dad died of cancer, my half-sister died of cancer, wow. my, my sister is dying of cancer, and I don't want to. And so I just decided that this is what I'm gonna do, and oh, I, how I wish I could talk my sister into eating this way, but she just, it's in her head that she can't. And I don't know why, because if I can do it, anybody can, right? Mm -hmm. I just don't understand why anybody couldn't. And I think it's, well, in the beginning when I wanted to eat healthy, I just kept saying, well, I'm not going to do it because my family won't do it. And I think that's what my sister does too, is mm -hmm. well, my husband won't like it, my kids yeah. don't like it, and it's the way I've cooked all my life. Yeah. And people just have to realize they don't have to do that. They can change their lifestyle and they can feel better. Shannon, you have been an incredible volunteer for the organization. Why do you choose to do that? And, um, you know, what kind of, uh, I guess, satisfaction do you get from being able to share this out with the community? Well, I love teaching. I've taught for years and uh, being able to volunteer and teach others what I've learned has been wonderful for me and it helps keep me on track too. Yeah. So I, I volunteered to start a cooking class and thank goodness you took me up on my <laughs> offer. And so I've been able to help uh, with lots of others teach these wonderful cooking classes. You are, are just such a great example and I'm so grateful to have you on our UC Veg volunteer team. Is there anything else that you would like to share? I think just the knowledge that uh, you can make the changes. You really can. It, uh, it may take time. It took a number of years for me to get my head around it. Mm -hmm. But when the time came, I just made the switch. It's an empowering message, Shannon. Thank you for sharing your story with all of us.